What is up all you Wombles, it's Jaggy here, and we've got ourselves a special one today. We have got our first FIFA career mode video, AFC Wimbledon Rebuild. We're gonna jump straight into this manager career. I'm gonna be looking to build AFC, uh, rebuild AFC Wimbledon from the ground up, get them to the Premier League, and hopefully, eventually, get them a Premier League title, baby. So I'm gonna be playing in world-class difficulty because while I am experienced in FIFA, I've been playing since FIFA 12, uh, my skill ceiling is not as high as some of the greatest out there in the world. You know, I heard the CPUs in this difficulty set or in this particular iteration of FIFA are fairly difficult because they can just string together a bunch of passes, you can defend all you like, and then as soon as you try to get stuck in a tackle, they'll just play a 1-2 around you, they'll play a ball into the box, and easy slot. Um, now, in order to... Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can find someone that looks like Mark Robinson. Uh, Nah, none of these managers look like more problems, so I'll just pick the next best thing. Um, disappointing. He looks fit for the job. I'm actually gonna name him Mark Robinson. I'm actually gonna pretend like this is Mark Robinson because, quite frankly, I do think that Mark Robinson has the capability of getting us to the championship. I don't think, he, I don't know if he's gonna be with us for you know an extended period of time, like four or five years, let's say. But I know he's gonna be with us for the next few years at the very least, and hopefully he'll get us up to the championship eventually. All right, authentic club. And you already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. AFC Wimbledon. Till I die. Home stadium. I don't think they're actually going to have it listed on here. Plow lane, I, I highly... They have... Okay. Yeah, I don't think they have plow lane on here. I mean, sort of? This kind of looks like plow lane, I guess. This is probably the closest to plow lane that you'll get, so... Might as well just go with it. I'll go, okay, here we go, Plow Lane. Or I could name it Cherry Red Record Stadium, but I think Plow Lane has more, more of a notoriety to it. All right, Plow Lane, we are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, not not actually. Let me, let me see if I can change this real quick. Yeah, change the stadium color. Uh, yes, blue. Hey, let's go. This is what we want, boys. Here we go. They didn't have these options in FIFA 19, I don't think so. I mean, obviously it's a very small change, but it's nice to see that EA implemented these changes so that you can feel more immersed within the club that you want to play for and you can feel more like you're actually the manager. Uh, so world-class difficulty, there is only FIFA. Nah, world-class. I'm not that much of a, uh, of a basement dweller to where I play FIFA 24-7. I like how they have the come on on the bottom with three exclamation points. That that kind of fits the bill of uh, of a typical FIFA or football fan in general. Come on, let's go. No, let's go is an American thing. Get in there, come on. That's more like it. European internet. They're all the same difficulty, so I might as well just... Wait, this one has Harrogate Town. Nah. They have Newport County, but that's pretty much it. Carlo United, Crawley Town. In terms of teams that I could play against that are in the English sector. I'm just going to go with the European Shield. Training day, okay. Training will improve players' sharpness, but at a cost of their fitness. Players who won't train will regain fitness, but will be at the expense of some of their sharpness. Sharpness gain in training and playing time boosts a player's ability. Um, yeah, they did have this in FIFA 19 where you could choose to do some drills uh, on the side, optional drills. However, I'm guessing that these are mandatory now, which is good. It, it kind of immerses you more as a manager and forces you to take action that you normally wouldn't take in FIFA 19. You just keep playing, playing, playing if you really choose to. But the game is sort of not forcing you, but you're more inclined to be like a manager here. So Alex Woodyard, Anthony Hardigan with the dribbling maze. Yeah, I'll just skip over this. Damn, if only the Dons could actually string together passes like this on a whim that easily. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Got Aaron Presley in there looking like a Southern California surfer, dude. I'm writing in regard to our upcoming match against Carlisle. I have concerns that our current captain may be struggling in the role. I wanted to propose appointing Will... Wait, Will Nightingale isn't the captain already? Oh, Woodyard is the captain. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm going to assign Nightingale as captain. Otherwise... Wait, George Marsh is a right back? What the fuck? And then we got Depo Mabude, of course. Henry Lawrence. I'm going to stick Henry Lawrence in there. Yeah, let's go. I, I don't know if I should play every single one, but honestly, it'll take too long. It'll be too tedious, but I want to play every single one because I want to feel like I'm in control, you know? 
even though this is a managerial type of career mode, I want to feel like I'm in control of the fixtures as well. All right, Ayuba Sal already with off the ball pressure. This game is pretty realistic. No, I wanted to get that to Radoni. All right, Asal has the pace anyway. Okay. Shouldn't this be on world class difficulty? What is going on? Now they're knocking it around. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Pulls it back. Good defending by Hennigan there in the beginning. Couldn't keep the ball. Good no, get it to Rodoni. Okay, Asal works too. Ayuba Sal! Oh. He can't hold on to it. Oh. Damn, Ayuba Sal takes a really heavy touch in this game, so. I better be careful with that. And taken short. Asal gets the cross in. Oof. And he's clear his lines. Rodoni, okay, I know Rodoni's not the fastest individual, but I tried to help hold LB and try to like juke the defender by using these little small strafe dribbles, but unfortunately Rodoni doesn't have that in his arsenal. Okay, maybe this game isn't so realistic, because he does have that in, in his arsenal in real life. Nice. Dribble to get out of pressure there by Hennigan. Golasso. Oli Palmer. Golasso. To open the proceedings. Oli Palmer. I miss you, Palmer. Please come back into the team sheet. Please. Oh, shit. That's going to be in. Zanev. That's kind of realistic. Okay, he tipped it over, but at times Zanev tends to struggle with balls over the top, like chips or, or just balls over his head in general. Oh, shit. I had to pause the game real quick, and I kind of forgot where I was. Man, this game is so open. Alex Woodyard, look how much space he has. Ayuba Sal. Oh, good, good shot. Good strike by Sal. I thought that was tipped out. Nice touch, Nightingale. Woodyard. Oh, he's really up on the map here. Can he put it away? Palmer at the left foot. Goal. 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 Ollie Palmer, man. We need him. We absolutely need him. Damn, I wish AFC Wimbledon could just create so many chances like that. They just for just seemingly at will just every attack they just pour numbers forward without giving the ball away so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said that's a good ball over oh holy power dink the keeper oh. or when i said dink i mean i meant go around but holy Palmer unfortunately is not fast enough the dons the dons The defense, oh, Nightingale overcommits to the challenge. Hennigan wins the header, as per usual. That's pretty realistic. Oh, come on. Rodoni. Rodoni with the skills. Rodoni. Nobody to play to, though. Gotta play it back to Zanev. Oh, Zanev, okay. I'm trying to get out of space, man. Just off the ball pressure from the CPU is too much. There we go. Guinness Walker. Guinness Walker going forward. Who can he play? Rodoni finds Henry Lawrence on the overlap. Numbers in the box. He's going to find Oli Palmer, maybe. Gets it to Koma. No, not quite there. Headed away. Oh, what is what is the other team doing? What is the other team doing? Woodyard. No. <laughs> Enough with the British accent. Alex Woodyard sprinting back defensively. Just pouring his heart and soul into the defensive side of things. Oh, defense caught sleeping. Top corner finish from Carlisle United. Oh, that's against Walker overextended. Knocking it around. Ever since they got the goal, the momentum has shifted. Nice ball, Lawrence.
Oh, finds Hardigan! Golasso! Golasso Anthony Hardigan! Let's go! I haven't seen him uh, score from long this season aside from that one free kick he had against Morecambe, but Anthony Hardigan, he has that in his arsenal. George Marsh come in for Hardigan. Gonna have, um... Kind of play like a 4-4-2 in a way. Where the fuck is Chael Alexander? Did I? Oh, he's right here. I'm, I'm actually stupid. I'm going to put Chael Alexander in the left-back position. Or right-back position. Yeah, no, left-back position, actually. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can he finish a sow! Oh! A sow with his left foot not able to bury that. That's a fantastic stop. That doesn't look anything like a Yuba Sal, bro. Oh, maybe one more in store for the Dons. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Jack Rodoni. Jack Rodoni. Hey! Penal! Pen I could have sweated that, but I wanted to test my, my ability to dink the keeper, but Rodoni doesn't have the best, uh, the best agile, or the most agile touch in this game. That looks like Wayne Rooney, kind of. Yeah, that's a pen. Let's see if I can uh, bury this one. I've been practicing penalties offline. That wasn't the best penalty in the world, but I timed it right. Oli Palmer gets on the score sheet. Oli Palmer, solid finish. Keeper rooted to the spot. 4 1. Woo! I'm gonna up the difficulty setting, that was too easy. So due to the relative ease that I found myself in world class difficulty, I decided to up the ante and play in legendary difficulty and to say the least, it was quite a bit more difficult than World Class. Huge skill gap between those two difficulty settings, in my opinion, and uh, it didn't work out as well. I ended up getting a draw and a loss in the next two fixtures, but I ended up advancing to the semifinals regardless. And in the videos going forward, I think I'm going to be doing most of my matches on the Sim mode instead. Uh, I know Interactive Sim came back in FIFA 2021, and a lot of people were raving about it. But I think I'll be doing sim for the most part. I'll be focusing on transfers and youth talent and whatnot. Uh, I just kind of wanted to get a feel for uh, AFC Wimbledon and how they play offline. Yeah, you guys kind of have a little bit of a feel of how AFC Wimbledon plays in the game. Ayuba Sal kind of has a, a bit of a heavy touch. Uh, for the most part, the players aren't too well, too good on the ball. But Ethan Chislett, when I started him in the second fixture, he actually played pretty well. Uh, he has very good close ball control and... Uh, Good passing. Honestly, he played like a 70 plus player in the game. I'm not sure how Ethan Chisel was so damn overpowered, but he played pretty well. Yeah, for the most part, I'll just be doing what I'm not trying to follow other YouTubers, but what I've noticed from a lot of YouTuber career mode videos and like the rebuilds and whatnot is they focus a lot on the managerial side of things. They don't really play too much. Uh, so I think I'll be doing that going forward. That being said, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.